All right, dear. Ready for some desserts? Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty Ho. You're watching B M U S. Well, the set you see here and many other crazy, fun-looking sets are available on PickMeUpScotty.com. So thank you guys for all your support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We got Chris back in town. Hello. So we're gonna shoot these videos as fast as we can for you. Here we go. This is, of course, you're looking at this going, what is this? It looks so different, it looks so pretty. Of course it's from our very good friends, Wiki. They, I wanna say Weke, because it just rolls off my tongue. It's probably Wiki. Are they weak? If you haven't, go watch the fairy tale books that they have done. Absolutely amazing sets. But this one here is more of a story book style, and they also have this. So today we're gonna to look at two sets. First one is from Wiki. This is the Alice in Wonderland, 506172. No idea how many pieces. So the second one we're gonna look at is their dessert house, 516601. No idea how many pieces either, but guess what? They're pretty small. Let me just show you the boxes first for both of these sets. This is the Alice in Wonderland Wiki box, nicely well presented. I like it, except you're gonna have to tear the top off we try to cut it, the cardboard will go off with it. It's very messy. Look at that, I like that. He's gonna step into her wonderland. There's the back, very simple. There's the dimensions right there at the bottom for you. I don't have to do it for you. The side of the box there, Alice in Wonderland. I like the side here. v and and by the way, this is authorized. Designed by these guys, like no, no, no joke, man. They put the logo there, so they must be getting their sets authorized. Yay, wiki! Good job. And that one actually does come with this little card. It's the same kind of card like last time. And, you know, it's the same thing. I'll just put a screenshot here. I won't read it to you guys. Oh, it's super bright though there. Okay. They'll hold it there. On the other side, there's a small little description there. So yeah, it looks like they're really like legit, man. Too legit, too legit to quit. All of Wiki's manuals are exactly the same. Nice little design right there. Are we going to go down this rabbit hole? One page for you to see, it's very easy. I like their instructions, they're totally fine. Oh, the backside actually shows the set. I don't know. I think they could have like redesigned this thing a little bit more so that you know what you're getting yourself into. For the dessert one, here's the box. Very quaint little pastel looking set. Very cute. Oh, did I just show you the back or the front? Oh, this one does have the pieces on there. This one is 384 pieces. Oh, nice. Same deal. Got a tear along the middle here. I tried to cut it on the side and it gets all jacked up like that. So there's some more detail on the side. Manual is the same. I just showed it to you. The other one, here's the back. Does have the design there. Inside there, it's easy. We're going to bag number two right now. Ah, it's safe to say this one was much easier to put together than the last two I did, which was a little bit complex, but this one was, I was putting together going, this is the most fun thing I put together. It's super sturdy, super stable, and it it's was a lot of fun, man. So let's just start at the front of this book. Nice details right there. That is a sticker though on the back. So they do have a couple here, Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. At least there's not a lot of stickers, which is good. And I like it, it's like the entrance to the book, right? Got some birds hanging out on the top. Details on the corner, like those heart-shaped gold pieces. That's really neat. I forgot, these are stickers, the stripes. Oh dang, I forgot about those. Don't have to use them, but I think you actually need to use a sticker for the title. I kind of wish they went all out and printed that. And then on the very top right there, you can see a little bookmark page. That was actually pretty cute. It looks like a little red ribbon. If I flip it here to the side, they actually made a little latch. Doesn't lock or anything, but does open up. Yeah, this is really a cool idea, man. So. I think they were inspired by Big L, L-E-G-O, when they did the pop-up book. But this is kind of a, another level, in my opinion. Here's the back side. We go down the rabbit hole. And you can see Alice there. And she's actually standing on a brick light. If I push the light here. Ooh, you're supposed to push it in and turn it. And it'll turn it, keep it on. So I can do that right now. I'll try it with my nail. There. Now, because her butt is lit up by the light and it says down the rabbit hole, 
Don't go down that hole, man. That's the wrong hole. You guys are disgusting. Okay, anyway, you got more sticker here along the side, the top. More gold prints, so that makes up for it. Nice touch. And then we go to the spine here. A couple stickers that wrap around the top and the bottom. And that's about it on the side there. We'll swing it back here to the front. And does this thing open up nicely? Yes, if we open the latch here, you open the first page. Isn't that cool? You have pages. This is the first page. Wow, look at that. Yo, that's pretty crazy, man. So you got a bunch of trees or the branches sticking out. I like how they use the wrench pieces. You got some mushrooms on the bottom corner there. And you actually do have a couple printed tiles. You got the ace of clubs and the ace of spades. And the clocks are stickers. That's the only thing. But the other ones are prints. A little book dangling down. It's kind of like everything's falling. Oh, I almost forgot there's Mad Hatter's hat. But there is no Mad Hatter in this set. Oh, so sad. I would have had liked to have seen him. That's really neat. That's the first page. I really love putting it together. I had no issues. Thank goodness there's no branches or like extra leaves. Would have been more nuts. And you can just see the front of the book there. There's nothing on the side. And of course, if you wanted to, you can put Alice standing here. You do have to open the spine in the back a little bit. Like go like that and go, wee there. There's Alice walking through the wonderland with more mushrooms there on the bottom. You got greens, leaves. They're not gonna fall off. It was easy to put together. I had so much fun doing this. I'm like, this is amazing so far. And they used actually a bunch of whips as the tree branches. I think that's a really good effect. And that is the last page. That's all that opens up to. But if I were to rotate it here, you can see the backside for this page here. So it's quite easy to hang everything up. And here's a closer look at Alice standing on the light. She looks really, really good. The only thing is the ribbon or the bow on her head is a rubber piece. But the key she's holding is that gold chrome key. I love that, man. She looks like an anime with her red cheeks or pink cheeks and a smile, the funny looking you. Her dress and her outfit looks really good and fits just fine. She even has printing on her feet, like her socks or something, and a little bit of printing on the back of her dress. Here, the hole is actually a shape of a keyhole. How cool is that, man? They put some thought into that. I'm like, yo, that's pretty neat. Now, the coolest thing is the spine actually opens up. So if I open up the spine here, go like that, and twist it there, look. Yo, got a nice giant clock there. For the clock itself, unfortunately, that is a sticker, but very minimal. I like the design and the gold kind of like stands out. And you got the guard. I think the guard actually looks too simple or he has too many colors, but he does have a little hood there. And I like his expression. He's like, ooh, but at least that's a print on his shirt. So good job, Wiki. Wiki. He actually has a spear. Unfortunately, it won't close with him holding the spear. So you cannot close it. It'll be, oh, bang onto the thing right there. But what's really cool is there's a little slot right here that the spear can be held inside. Very smart. If I were to like really nitpick when you close the spine, it kind of catches on the hinge pieces here. You want to make sure like it has enough gap, but there's just enough that you can actually close it if you can get it right. See, I got it there and there, and it will close up. But you do have to be careful for that. The other thing too is, if we want to open up all the pages, the spine piece does have to open a little bit in order to get the whole book open. But yo, man, I love this set a lot. I love it so much that they actually have Little Mermaid and they have Cinderella. And, you know, I got this one first and Ida even told me, these are not that cheap to buy. Are you sure you want the other ones after doing this one? I'm like, yeah, I want to get the other one too because I think this is amazing. It really looks like a little book. If you're in a book collector, this could look pretty cool on the shelf or you have it like a book end holding up the books here on the side. I don't know. It's just if you're into the whole fairy tale thing, you just want a little bit of a childhood nostalgic feel. Just get it if you can. We have some here in stock. I think it's amazing. Some of you have actually ordered it already and the other ones too. So let's look at Wiki's next set, the bonus set. Here we go. Ah, yes, another food shop. Well, this is the dessert house. We could always use more snacks. I know I'm an old man already, but for me, I was like, oh, this is so peaceful to build. But this is for more for you ladies out there or you guys that just want a little bit more of a pastel, brighter color look small little stall a lot of colors in the leaves i'm gonna do a little ro quick rotation for you this won't take too long to get through it's very small you got a little back area here look at all that detail man that's a lot of stuff going on in here all right so looking on the front here there are a couple stickers there's not a lot the dessert house along the top 
Well, this sign here is actually a print. Hey, how about that? I thought it was a sticker. I was like, nice job, Scotty. And I have a little cat here by the steps. It is all tiled along there. What's really cool is all the desserts. Those are all special pieces. Those are all printed. They look really good. So if you want those special printed pieces, you just have to buy the set. Can't get those anywhere else. It's like strawberries and cherries, almost cherry blossom thing again going on. But I really like that. The door entrance, that is a print on there. Big window here on the side. The tree was actually pretty easy to put together. And look, they have those dangly things here, but they're transparent, nice and clear. Beautiful colors. And you got more of these eggshell plants here. Nice use of the colors of the pinks, the purple. The hurt your eyes looking at this. And this is kind of open back here. The only unfortunate thing is it is actually kind of hard to get inside here, but they did not put a door there. But your characters can come out here and chill out. There is a table there. The table has even more desserts on there, and those are little printed tiles. That is a big sticker along that window. Now there's a little spot for your figure to hang out on the inside there on the stud, and you can probably put a couple more figures in here, but it is very hard to get them inside. And it's pretty bare minimum on the counter right there. Now this side, got even more flowers. Nice little window there, and I like the look of the vine with the little street lamp there. You know, about the sticker though, I like those window pieces going across. Those are printed, and hey, more light to go into the set. The top, however, has a little baby skyline there. I think, can it open up? If you move part of the tree away and move the branch out, you can definitely open this part up, which is kind of neat. So you, maybe you want to flip the tree the other way so you can get inside this thing. And what's cool is, it does not come with a light brick, as far as I know if I can remember, but right there, it's kind of hard to see. They actually give you a space. If you have a light brick, you can stick one in there and light this up. If anything, this one should have came with a light brick, but I don't know why they didn't include it in this one. It does come with the baking lady. I love the details on her, her eyes, her expression, her headpiece with the ribbon. Man, they're stepping up their game with a detail. Her apron looks really good, printed along the arms and on the back as well. She goes very well and very nicely with this set. And that is it, man. It's so small, but very nice and easy to put together. I love the colors. So there, that the dessert. Dessert, the dessert house. Yummy, you're getting hungry? It's time to get some cake. All right, you guys, it's time for dimensions. Both of these can pretty much fit on the same plate. Why would you want to do that? You probably want to keep all the book ones together. I'm just gonna throw this randomly somewhere around here. So it's kind of oddly spaced, but just to give you an idea, this is 16 by about 12. There's gonna be a lot more if you open it all up like this, if you wanted to, look, it'll spread almost the whole plate, but that's a visual representation for you. Yeah, you can decorate more things here if you wanted to. I'll put the one by four bricks, maybe here, so touch the ribbon. Oh, that is around 16 bricks in height, close to there. Oh, yeah, just touches right there. Not bad. There, there you go. Will that fit on your bookshelf? I think so. Even though this one's small, just remember that it is on multiple plates there, so you can see. But if we were to put this down right here, it's quite odd as well. It's not, not really fitting properly on a plate. You might want to just build it on a, another plate by yourself instead of using multiple ones. And that is around 15 by, I'd say, about 16, roughly around there it's small man you know you can put this anywhere you want let's break out the one by four bricks check the height okay let's put this here where the branches are the highest and that is around 12 bricks in height there you go it is time for me to drop these beautiful sets i feel kind of bad somebody's got to do it <laughs> The dessert house, just the branch and the kitty cat came off. I put the branch back on already, so that was easy. Surprisingly, the book didn't fall apart on me, but it looks like some pieces got loosened up. If I open up here, oh, one branch fell down, or oh, two pieces fell down. Those are so easy and fast to put together. Yeah, you just gotta link this back on the top, and this one goes from the bottom up. That's it, man. Yay! How magical has this ride been for you guys? 
It's been very magical for me. I love both of these sets. This one's more simple. This one's kind of out of this world. Can't wait to get to review the other ones for you. So don't forget these are available on my store, BrickMeUpScotty.com. You know you're welcome to buy these anywhere else. That's fine with me. But you'll be happy if you do get these. All right? So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back with more so I can do more of these sets for you. Let me know in the comments. Should I do Cinderella first or should I do Mermaid first? I'm sure you guys want me to do both of them at the same time. Anyway, I love these. It's time to go build some more. Well, thank you so much. Until next time, you guys, pick me up. Bye. This was really good. It's like really good presentation, right? The way they designed. Yeah, but it's like no problem. Like nothing's falling apart, right? See, I'm just having this conversation with Chris, yeah. and you guys are seeing a real conversation right now, but Chris is really super impressed by this one. Me too. You know, and I actually really love the colors here. Like, that beige look. That's cool. Dear, you like my hat? No. Come on, man. It's like, uh -uh. starry, starry night. You know, we have fairy tale kind of thing. Take it off. What? Yeah. You don't like it? No. Nope. What are you talking about, boy? Yeah, maybe we should do like a brick me up Scotty land. That would be fun.